so it's time for my winter capsule wardrobe rejig and I am excited, I am in the mood. Um, we were going to record this yesterday and then it just got too late in the day and we lost light because it gets dark here at like 3pm. And I was sad about it because I think uh, things are looking a wee bit messy in here. It's looking a little bit overcrowded and this is why I love to go through my wardrobe every three months and do this seasonal rejig because not only does it give me a chance to get real wear out of all of my clothing, it also means I get to like tidy up because it is at that point where it's all stuffed in and I'm struggling to really like visually see everything that I've got in there. When I'm getting ready in the morning, I'm just reaching for the same things like over and over again because they're the top of the pile and that's not really like what we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna do a blog post very soon that you'll be seeing, which is all about my grand plans for my capture wardrobe in 2020. So keep an eye on my blog out for that. But today we're doing that thing. I'm going through my suitcases. I keep up in the loft with all of my out of season clothing and we're doing a swap. So there's some things in here that feel a little bit more autumnal, like things like this trench coat. It's quite thin. It's not great now. It's really, really, really bloody cold. So the few things that feel a little bit more autumnal will be going into storage. And those things that are currently in storage that are like winter appropriate are coming back out. So I'm gonna like give you a quick little zoom in so you can see the before. So this is what we're working with. Like at the top, it doesn't look too horrendous, but as you get down, like, yeah, you can see there's way too much in here. Like it's actually hard for me to get stuff out. And I really, really hate that. I like there to be a bit more space going on there. Um, so that's fine, everything's looking cool. I've got loads of bloody trousers and jeans. I actually picked up, I think it was two new pairs of jeans in the Black Friday sale because my favorite redone style were like 40% off. It was such a great deal. Uh, so winter capture wardrobe haul coming very soon. So there's definitely some editing that I can do here. I think behind here I've got my Gucci loafers. Yeah, like it's way too chilly for those. And then this is the worst bit. Like what the hell is going on here? There's just like a pile. Like what is that? Oh, it's a scarf. Like this, I'm like, no, 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 that's a jumper. Yeah, this needs some serious, serious tidying out at this section. So step one, and I feel like Claire Saffitz saying this, is my favorite part, and that's getting everything out, giving my wardrobe a nice little spring clean, and yeah, just piling it all onto the bed. Let's see what we've got in here. So everything in here is now nice and clean, lovely, the quick bit. Um, but these are all the shoes that were in there, and then this is the pile of all of the clothing that was in there. So um, yeah, I feel like this this one could be a bit of a long one. Okay, this is an easy one, yoga mat, going back in. I always feel like the best thing to start off with are shoes, there's just the least amount of them. And I can very clearly see like what ones it's worth putting away. Um, I'm gonna keep all my boots. I think the only two that I might put away, I don't know whether to put away my vans or not. Hmm. I'm gonna keep these in here, but I'm gonna keep them at the back on the lower shelf, um, just because I don't really wear them that often. If I'm wearing trainer trainers, it's because I'm going to like spin class, I'm going to Pilates, and I have like a sports pair that I wear. Um, all my sports gear is in this one, in case you're wondering. And all my uh, pants, socks, bras, and all my underwear and pajamas are in the top one. There you go, so I do keep like everything clothing-wise in here. Um, but yeah, I don't really tend to wear my non-sporty trainers, all that often in the winter months. So I'm keeping those at the back. I think the only pair that I'm gonna pack away are the Gucci loafers, um, just cause yeah, there's too much ankle going on. I feel like spring, great. I'll be reunited with these. I'll be very happy, but for now, they're going back. My two pairs of ankle Chelsea boots, and these are perhaps my least worn boots currently. So I'm gonna put those at the back. The black ones are the Acme Studios ones, and the Whistles ones are the leopard print ones. And then my four most worn pairs. My two sort of glam boots are these ones from Ganny. I love them, I wear them quite often. And then these from Dear Francis, these are the spirit boots. So I'm gonna pop those kind of at the front on the bottom. My most worn boots by an absolute mile are these and other stories like winter boots. Um, but I do still wear these top shirt ones a lot, so I'm gonna pop these on the top shelf. There you go, that is shoes done. I don't think there's any other like winter shoes that I've got to pull out storage. Actually, I have got a pair of uh, Ugg boots, <laughs> which I do wear in the winter um, just when I go to Pilates because I can just like slip them off when I get there. So they might fit into my sports drawer, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it later. I think the next thing to do is go through this absolutely bloody massive pile. I'm feeling very overwhelmed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, these. 
These are the Ugg boot slippers that were in my Christmas gift guide. I love them, um, but I'm just kind of wearing through these ones currently. So until they get a hole in it, these are just gonna stay in a special place at the back. There you go, one day. This is from 16 Arlington, and this was a ridiculous 30th birthday purchase. I just absolutely adore it. Um, we're kind of out of festive party season, but I do still have a couple of parties coming up. I have a Hendy that I'm going to soon. So I think what I might do is just fold this up carefully and store it under my bed with the rest of my occasion wear pieces. And that's where I keep all my fancy schmancy bits. Um, so that is gonna go under there. I love it so much. Oh, this is definitely going back in. This is the And Other Stories leather mini dress. I'm definitely popping that in there. Leather jacket, too cold for, it's going into storage. Oh, this, of course this is going back in. The Whistles coat. This is a winter capture wardrobe purchase. It's from Arquette and it's just, I'll link it down below for you actually, because this is one of the best things I've bought like in the past 12 months. It's a huge puffer jacket with a massive hood that makes me look like Jimmy Neutron when I put it on. Um, but it's so warm, so practical. My retail vintage trench definitely going into storage. It's just a little bit thin for right now. Oh, this old, this coat. The Whistles leopard print coat. Hell yes, put that back up in there. I think one thing that I wanna do because during the winter, like you've obviously got so much chunk in your wardrobe thanks to all your coats. I don't wanna have too much else hanging up because um, I always hang up silk shirts because they're like one of my favorite things to wear. And I'm like, oh yeah, silk shirt. But ultimately throughout the winter, I wear like knitwear way more. So I kind of wanna edit down my silk shirt stash and keep a load in storage just for spring until it warms up. I think I'm gonna pop my Ganny raincoat into storage. Like obviously it is gonna be super rainy over the next couple of months, um, but I feel like whenever it's like raining horrible, I probably just would wear my Arquette. This coat from Jigsaw, definitely way too thin as well. So that is going into storage. Okay, here are the silk shirts I was talking about. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and a turtleneck. The turtleneck, 100% going back in, but I really just need to edit this down. Oh, I love them all. I'm gonna put the white one into storage just because I feel like white is a bit more spring-like, not as wintry. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep the stripy one. I find myself wearing that one a lot. Okay, I'm keeping the pajama style one from Equipment because it's my favorite the equipment stripey one. And then I thought I should keep like one just solid color one, but like not black. This is from And Other Stories. So those three going in. Definitely putting back in the And Other Stories. This is the thin wool turtleneck. I wear this an absolute ton. I'm actually gonna put the equipment pajama style silk shirt into storage. Cause I was just kind of looking at those and I was like, it's kind of, a lot of black already going on, so let's see if I can do a season without that. I'm gonna put the Realization Pass skirt back in there just because I feel like it's a year-round piece. I've got tights, I can wear it with tights, boots, a nice little knitwear piece done. This little Elmi bag like really isn't a winter piece, but it does kind of hold things in quite nicely. And I feel like this one would be a difficult one to store because it is like quite structured. So in it, I'm just gonna keep my winter accessories. So I've got my Acme Studios black scarf, this is a Uniqlo like ultra light down layer. These North Face gloves, which are brilliant because you can use your phone when you have them on. And then this Arquette hat. There you go. That can live there. We like that. Then next to that, I'm gonna put ah, the Loewe Barcelona bag in leopard print. Um, again, this was something that I picked up for my 30th birthday. Ooh, happy birthday me again. Um, but it was secondhand. I'm so chuffed with it. I absolutely love it. And this is definitely more of like a structured winter bag for me. So I'm going to pop that beside like so. I don't know what this is doing in here. This is like a random brilliant piece of makeup storage. Um, but I do have quite a few brilliant pieces of makeup storage. I keep all my, I have like a bag of bags, which I know is a terrible thing. Um, and I keep that in my travel essential stash up here in my way suitcase. So I think I'm going to put this in my giveaway bag. I feel like the next thing to do is to sort through my knitwear, which is perhaps the biggest task of this whole thing. Um, so let me do that. Just to get these out of the way, I have like three more like lightweight um, just jumpers and they tend to be more like loungewear jumpers to me rather than something that I would like wear as part of an everyday outfit. So I'm just gonna pop those in the back there so they are out of the way. 
And now we have knitwear. <laughs> How many more times can I say knitwear? Oh, I'm gonna pop these two pairs of dungarees um, into storage just because I haven't really worn them that much in the last season. I feel like they're there, but they're more of like a slightly more springy, summery piece for me. The ones that I have are quite cropped in the leg, um, which just means I'm getting like a real draft going up there. So I need to think about warmth here. What do I need? <sighs> knitwear. <laughs> Okay, maybe we're gonna break it down into color just to see like what we're working with. So we've got six color categories going on here. I've got like gray, stripe, black, like 100% both of these going back in. I've got green, I've got like creamy, beigey, white, and then I've got this like rusty brown color going on. I know it's not particularly helpful, but I think I'm gonna to attempt to see if I can fit them all back in there because I know that I'm now putting my dungarees in storage, which gives me a bit more space. And I kind of want to break them down into like chunky, fine knit, medium knit, because um, that's how like my brain thinks when I'm picking knitwear for the day in terms of like layering, temperature, what I'm doing that day. Because um, I just don't think there's any ones here that I really want to put into storage. I kind of wear them all. I've worn all of these over the last like two months. Um, so not particularly helpful. No editing going on here. Let's see what I can put in in a effective way. This is so much better. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I've got real chunky knits on top. I've got medium knits in the middle and then the ones that I reach for the most on the bottom which are like just my fine kind of cashmere knits. This is so much better. And it looks so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, very, very chuffed with that. So behind my trousers, I keep t-shirts. And actually t-shirts are a really good part of my winter capsule wardrobe just because I layer them under my like cashmere fine knits, wool knits. Um, one, because it means you don't need to wash your cashmere knits as much, which is great. And two, obviously, because it's absolutely freezing. So what I tend to do is put the black ones on one side, the white ones and the striped things on the other side. So I'm just gonna fold them up. I'm not gonna sort through these because I feel like I did a proper sort in the last time that I did this in the autumn capture wardrobe. I will link that video up there for you. Um, so I'm not gonna bother doing that. And I'm just gonna fold everything back up because it was getting a wee bit messy. Trousers, jeans and trousers and like leather trousers. I, yeah, I have way too many going on here. I actually think I might get rid of a pair of trousers. It's not too often during these videos that I like realize that I need to pass something on but these redone cords, I love them. I love them so much. You wanna see me wearing them in like Instagrams frequently, blog posts. Um, but ultimately I can't sit down in these. Um, and I just think I'm never gonna be able to sit down in these. That's completely fine. Um, so the sizing just really didn't work out for me in these and because they're cord. It's not like denim where sometimes you can get like a really tight pair of jeans and then like a month later they fit you like a glove and it's beautiful. Um, with these, there's no real stretch to them. I've had them for a year and I'm like, I'll stretch them out, I'll stretch them out. No, they never stretch out. They're so uncomfortable to wear. Um, so I'm gonna pass these on um, in a charity bag. Next time the charity bag comes, we will put these in. It's time to say goodbye. You've been good to me. Basically, all my jeans are either the ones that I'm wearing, these are Topshop Editor jeans, I'll link them down below for you. And the majority of the others here are redone, high rise stovepipe jeans. They're my favorite style. These black ones are those, um, I picked these up in the Black Friday sale, they're like a kind of washed black, they're such a cool wash, I really really like these, so definitely keeping those down, definitely keeping my And Other Stories leather kick flare trousers, whatever they're called, they are brilliant. So that's kind of five pairs already of like black trousers. That's fine. These 100% are staying down here. These are my T by Alexander Wang leopard print. They're like elasticated straight leg trousers. So these are my super comfortable pair of trousers. So these have to go back in. And then for like light wash, um, I also picked these up in the Black Friday sale. They're like the redone jeans that I love, um, but in like a bright white, they are fab, but definitely more of like a summer thing. So I think I'm gonna pop these up in storage as well. These are my redone jeans in like a blue, and then I think I'm gonna keep these Kate wide leg jeans. These are more of like a creamy color, so they don't feel as stark as white, and they're definitely something that I wear more during the winter months, but I think that, yeah, cool. So that's me sorting through everything that was in my wardrobe already. So now I'm gonna have a quick look, I think in the suitcase first, that has a couple more winter bits that I might wanna pull out and throw in here. Then I'm gonna put all of these, this massive bar, whoa, put that 
into storage, that's like good to go. And then I'm gonna have a quick little look under my bed. Um, Mark and I are actually going to Sri Lanka at the end of the month, which is very exciting. So I kind of want to make life a little easier for myself by kind of prepping my really hot weather, like summer bits and having those under the beds. So they're like ready to go. So I don't have to faff around going up in the loft for that. So this bit could take a while, um, but I feel this is like something worth doing now. Like put the work in now and life's gonna be easier at a later date. A considerable amount of time has passed, but I thought I would show you what one of my under the bed storage sections looks like. And this is where I keep all my like occasion wear pieces so the feathers have gone down here. I keep my jumpsuits here. Um, I basically have a little like dress rental service that comes out of this corner for all my friends when they go to like christenings, weddings, anything like we do a little swapsies around here. Um, it's currently before Christmas uh, when I'm recording this video. So here I have my Christmas jumper and then I did decide to put the Ganny raincoat under here. I thought in case it is absolutely peeing down one day, it will be quite nice to have it down here. Then in the corner and at the back, I've got stuff for Sri Lanka. So that should stop me having to go up in the loft to get stuff out for that. So that's great. So that's everything in there. So there are a few things in storage that I found that just have to go back into my winter capsule wardrobe. Case in point, my whistles, camel coat, I just absolutely adore it. Back it goes. And then I have another three pieces of knitwear. Um, but I've got my Acne Studios, my big like V-neck jumper. I adore this. I'm so happy to have this back in my life. This is from And Other Stories and this is like a turtleneck. I think I got this last year or the year before. Um, can you tell? I just love this colour. And then my one and only Topshop pink cashmere jumper. Uh, it really goes with everything else I've got in here. But I wore this a ton last year. It was just really like nice and brightening. And especially as it gets a bit more springy, um, I just really love having that one colourful piece of my wardrobe. And then also, I can't remember where these are from. Oh, they're from Oliver Bonus. I bought them earlier this year when I was on book tour and it was absolutely freezing. I'm just gonna pop those in my little like winter accessories bag. Very nice. So I'm just gonna throw those extra bits in here and then I will show you the end result. I forgot to mention my Chloe Susanna boots, but they will be going back in as well. And um, But this is the end result. So much tidier. I mean, I could basically open a knitwear shop. Like I'm sure that could probably be edited down slightly, but it's all stuff that I wear so often and um, I've just done the washing. So this is everything that I have basically. And um, yeah, just nice that I can get to everything here. This is so much easier to grab everything, see everything. And ultimately these jumpers are what I wear all the time anyway. So yeah, really happy with that. So that's it. My winter capture wardrobe is done. Um, this has taken me an hour and a half. I don't think that's too bad. It's like a decent way to spend a weekend afternoon. And as I mentioned, I was feeling so like overwhelmed when I saw everything in here. It feels so nice to like look at it and be like, I can see everything. It's all organized. I haven't got that like messy looking pile at the bottom. Um, and yeah, it's just nice to get a couple of winter favorites back in there. So if you want any more capture wardrobe know-how, you can check out my newsletter and edited life. It goes out on the first Monday of every month. Um, and that always has some kind of organization tips in and my book. Yes, throwing in a book plug. It's been over a year now since it was released, which is crazy. Um, and I still get messages from you guys who are reading it for the first time. So I'll link that down below for you if you want to check that out, because that has a whole chapter dedicated to it. Uh, but yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for a new one. Bye.